Yes, so good day and um, welcome once again to Talk Your Talk. This video will be short. Now, hmm, as you can see in the bottom of the screen, what I write here is cheap on the inside, expensive on the outside. Meaning, someone could be cheap on the inside and expensive on the outside. Let me explain. Now, you see a lot of people walking around, a lot of us walking around. We have um, a lot of expensive stuff, you know, and things like that. We walk around and we, we float our expensive things, you know, and um, within ourselves, we, we feel that we are better than other people and stuff like that, okay? Because we have more money than them, we have more lands than them, we have more houses than them, we have a whole lot of things. So as a result of that, we go around being very expensive on the outside but really and truly we are just normally just cheap on the inside basically right now we have to be aware of that okay we have to know where we place our emphasis and if we place all our emphasis on material things okay material things will have more value than us in this world so let me explain that too now as i said earlier most of us walk around with our wealthy things and we feel that we are better than other people as a result of the amount of wealth we have but it's the material things that causes that that is the motivating factor factor of your of your status right in relation to other people who maybe have little who maybe have less than you and who maybe have nothing at all so in your case you feel that you are better than them based on the material things that you have now we all take all these material things all the material things out of the equation and everybody will be just like normal you understand what i'm saying but because you have these material things now you place all your emphasis your time your energy your thoughts on these material things you put it above other people, not you. You put the material things above other people. You understand? And once you put it above other people, it's because you also put it above yourself. It becomes your God anyway. Because without it, you're like nothing. You know, you don't have self-worth if you don't have material things. Material things don't give you self-worth. Your self-worth comes from here, from your heart you understand okay the scripture said in first corinthians 13 and just bear with me a moment he said do i speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love i am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal that is like you're like nothing then you know it's like you're useless and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. The scriptures say you are nothing. Let me tell you what has happened in our society. You have a lot of people who are educated, right? They are more educated. It's just a physical thing. That is what you know about the world. You know, you are educated, you're full of knowledge. You go to university, you go to, well, you go college, you go university, you do whatever you do. You understand? You have, you're full of knowledge about things that is happening in this world and everything like that. Okay, you could build cars, you could build planes, you have a whole lot of knowledge. But you don't have love in your heart. You understand? You don't have love in your heart. But then, based on the knowledge you have, the knowledge that you, you fight to get, you fight to learn and whatever you, whatever you do to get it. You pay a lot of money to attain it. After you get all this knowledge now, you are feeling that you are better than the next person who doesn't have this kind of knowledge like you. So you put those knowledge that most of the time you wouldn't even use above other people and you use it as a status for yourself. Because of the knowledge you have, you are better than other people. Huh, you are nothing. 
as long as you don't have this light of love within you you have nothing i know there is a lot of people on this face of the earth people i know in my community people i know around our country and whatever it doesn't have a clue what love is all about and when i say it doesn't have a clue you basically does not have a clue as to what love is and i just be seeing it and other people just be seeing it every day you don't have a clue what love is most of you think love is some form of emotion or probably you could love paul and hate john or maybe you could hate jane and love john you don't have a clue what love is or you feel all emotional with your husband you get a husband or you get a wife and you think that is love you don't have a clue what is love because if you have a clue what is love i could guarantee you most of the things that you're allowing your wife to do most of the things that you are that your wife allowing the husband to do you understand you guys would not be allowing that so that proves to me you doesn't have a clue what love is and if you doesn't have love within you i could guarantee you are nothing if you don't want to investigate what love is and know what is love is and experience what true love is then you are still nothing so with all your knowledge with all your your tongues you're speaking with all the prophecy you can pro prophecy you could prophesy whatever if you don't have this thing you call love you don't have anything and trust me you could prophesy and you don't have love most people think because you could prophesy and because you could preach and because you could do this you know what his love is <laughs> when the time come and our elohim reach back here and you go to him and he don't know you and you start to remind him about all the the people you you heal and all the thing magic you do all the prophesying you do you'll say i don't know you you understand because he's gonna tell you exactly what you should have done he said but when i was in the hospital you didn't visit me at all you didn't come when i was thirsty you didn't give me some water when i want a place to rest you did not give me a place to rest you didn't give me a bed when i ask you for a fish you give me a stone you understand that is exactly what he would tell you the simplest things in life is the most valuable things in life you understand and that is your nature your character the person who you are within within you is the most valuable thing you could ever have you understand but if you place all your all the value of yourself on the material things that you have and you possess then you are looking at the material things more valuable than you because it determines your status in this life mind you let me just tell you something each and every one of us or each and every one of you who are looking at that video here you are the son you are the daughter of the king of the universe you understand he creates everything he and he has no beginning and no end you understand the earth is, is Elohim's and the fullness thereof he is your father so why play um, place a few miserly uh, miserable little material things above you you have much more value than that you understand you have much more value than what you are placing on yourself all you have to do to recognize the value of yourself is to humble yourself before our Elohim humble yourself because getting to know our Elohim is the beginning of wisdom and tr truthfully you can't know our Elohim without being humble so you humble yourself before our Elohim let him place that love within your heart you understand you will see if you don't want to see that then you stay where you're at then one day you will know but then, then it will be too late you understand so try to be 
expensive well as a matter of fact <clears throat> invaluable on the inside expensive is <laughs> kind of cheap do i wrote it it's a little bit cheap but i just wanted to put it to 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 get across a point but try to be invaluable with you are priceless on the inside you understand in your everyday life try to be that you know because you could be eternal the material things is only temporary so why place it above yourself why place it above other people you understand it doesn't matter how much education you have how much money and wealth you have billions of dollars please whatever it's not better than you but then you could make it better than you when you place all your emphasis on it then you put it above you because it determines your your status it determines how you feel about other people so that means you're basically worshiping the material things we have to be careful of those things you know those things we have to be very very careful about those because if we are not you will live your life you as a living being an eternal being you will live your life worshiping dead things material things let me tell you something you ever see a breathing living bleeding car or did you ever see a breathing bleeding living dollar no they have no life because they were created by men they have no life they are dead inanimate they are dead no soul and they are temporary very much so but compare it with you you understand compare it with you and tell me who are more valuable you might say you are more valuable but your actions will indicate something completely different you understand most people every day they wake up they worship this thing that's the first thing on their mind you know where is the other dollar what i have to do to get the other dollar not giving an next moment to think about our elohim you know and the life they are living you understand we have we have to wake up to all those things we have to wake up we have to we have to have those kind of patience you know to work within ourselves to see what it is or what is needed for us to step up and when we talk about stepping up most people when they talk about growing they always think about growing in terms of attaining material things you understand that is a, that is another wrong you understand growing don't necessarily mean that you have to grow materially and attain material things be the best person be perfect you see that is growth being perfect striving to be perfect that is growth and don't tell me no foolishness about there is no one perfect and nobody could be perfect you understand you see that's supposed to be the mission the mission is to become perfect not running around telling people you cannot be perfect not running around telling people that you can't keep the, the, the true calendar because you have to work and children have to go to school no don't tell me that i know better than that you understand so then because you cannot keep the true cal calendar you have to keep the sabbath and saturday you know or you have to keep the sabbath and sunday because the ex next five days you could work according to the system of the babylonians no look deep within yourself and see your value your value is way more way much than that you understand don't cut yourself cheaply 
We have a few billion dollars and paper money. What he could do for you? Tell me. Buy a set of stuff, buy and you're dead next year? What is the purpose of it? According to the, according to the preacher in the Bible, he said that is vain. A vexation of spirit. You know? Humble yourself. Enjoy the sunlight. Your father give you that. Enjoy the moonlight. Enjoy the rain. Enjoy the beach. Enjoy the grass. Enjoy what he gave you. You understand? When Satan and these people came up with a different system to have you fooling around with paper money and stuff like that, they make this system like that, which we have to we have to live within that. But we can't afford to make it our life or the purpose in our life. That is wrong because you will go the way of it. And that will be damnation because one day all that will burn up. So if that is what you're worshiping, that is where you're going, you, 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 that is where you'll be going. A typical example, let me just tell you this. For most of you who read the scriptures, you know definitely hell was created for this for Satan and his people. So he will be he will be leading the squad going down in hell. So whosoever fall behind him, that will be his troops, they're going down in hell. You understand what I'm saying? No. The same way when all this money and all these material things will burn up to make way for truth and righteousness. The people that worship it and take it for their God, they will be following their God to destruction. So place value on yourself. You are way above that if you want to. You understand? Seek love, my friend. Seek love in your everyday. It doesn't matter. You know, most of you just run around talking about Christ, 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 Christ. For the sake of love, he gave his only life he had on his earth. He gave his life. You understand? The only life he had on his earth, he gave it up. For you, for me, for the sake of love. And then he had you, he had um, examples of people that will choose their wealth over. You understand? Over the, over the salvation he had to offer. You understand? And they showed you, the scriptures show you the examples of these people who choose their wealth over salvation. Yeah, I have all my wealth. I'm a rich man. I can't go this way with you now. I got to go and take care of my money. So you place all your emphasis, you place your life, you place all these material things above yourself. So you have no value. You are nothing. The point I'm making is that if you have love within your heart, you have our Elohim. And if you don't have love within your heart, you don't have our Elohim within you. You could say that. Even the atheists will run around saying that, yeah, they have love. You don't have no love within you. You don't have any love within you. You could say what you want. You could use, use your emotion and convert it to love. That is what the heathens do. They, all you are accustomed to doing that. But you don't have no love within you. You have to have this love because love begets wisdom. You understand? Wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Love gives you that. And love gives you this thing you call humility. Which appears to be weak but is this strong. You understand? So then please value on yourself. I know for a lot of people it's difficult. Nothing is easy. You think walking to, uh, towards um, towards the cross to be crucified was easy? That wasn't easy. So you don't expect things to be easy. And you seem fool. You do a lot of wickedness. So it will be a constant fight to build yourself up according to the standards of our Elohim to... To reach that perfection, you have to be doing a full-time job on yourself. How could you have time to think about worshipping material things, just mere material things? Material things will be around when the most high will give you. And if he give you, he'll give you to help his other people. And that's the absolute truth. 
but then yourself you have to be working full time on every day every minute of the day and stop fooling around you understand you have to so place the value on yourself don't place value on your material thing you're walking around in your big in your big jeep you're walking around and you're flying around in your big plane your big car you're moving around like if you're better than other people and stuff like that and that gives you this kind of uh, you feel like you're all this stuff you're nothing you know you are absolutely nothing and you just can't understand that you are nothing you could have all your material things your big job your this your that your other whatever you have on the face of the earth that is material things and it doesn't have life and you place them for this and that and you judge your judge yourself by the amount of material things you have in, in relation to other people then you are nothing because if you have a billion dollars and they put you on an island where you don't have no shop what could it do for you he doesn't have a stuff what could he do for you understand what could he do for you think about it you know you will work out your whole suitcase and like i just repeated myself because you'll work your whole suit soul case out right and you work it out to get money in other words you're calling it like you sell your soul to get money <clears throat> and then you have all this money piled up you ain't have no love, you don't give nobody, you wouldn't try to share nobody, you say, why you don't go and walk? Why she don't go and walk? Why she don't go and do that? And then you're dead. What is the purpose of that? That is vain. That is useless. You understand? I just always say. If I went out, my Elohim blessed me with two shots. I wouldn't see a brother of mine walking naked and don't offer him one that is the renewing of your mind that is thinking about things and seeing things differently you understand if you reach that level where you could do that then you start to have value let me just tell you something you could have all the material things you could go to church every sunday or every saturday and give them pastor all your money and they smile and tell you peace be with you peace be with you i don't change the price of anything you understand if it's not inside here you ain't got it nowhere you understand because let me just tell you this our elohim have no consideration for how much wealth you have how you work hard and you have wisdom of the world and you're smart like the world so you could manipulate the dollar you could buy stocks maybe in the stocks market and make a million and a billion dollars or elohim have nothing to do with that if you have no love in your heart you understand what i'm saying and he don't even think about that he don't consider that you know what he considers consider what's in here you understand how you build in here and only one way you could build inside here place value is true love yeah that is why only a few people will be saved you know consider the time of Noah when the world was filled with people I assume and only seven people get saved it will be the same thing now because you people here have been so confused that you don't take any time off to get down into yourself you understand and really seek out our elohim in his true form run around every sunday and saturday and tuesday and wednesday and thursday and go shout now jesus 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 and you'll see how that will end up please value on yourself and that is how you you build yourself that is how you build a brother you understand that is how you do you know you 
You remember what he told Peter? He said, Peter, do you love me? <clears throat> Excuse. Peter said, yeah, I love you. He said, well, feed my lambs. He told him that three times. Third time, Peter was a little irritated. That would be good. That could be for another video. But you get the picture. You see, that is how you build your brother. You feed them. You feed them the word. You understand. And you feed them with food too. And whatever they might need if you are in a position to do so. It's like what the tithes were for. Tight was a principle of how we were supposed to live in our society. You remember what the tithe was for? For a widow, that is the people who, if you don't know what is a widow, a woman who lost her husband. And the husband used to provide for her. But he is no more alive, he is dead. So the people in our community have to provide for the widow. That was for the tithes. Also, the test was for the Levites. The reason for that is because the Levites didn't have this, this, um, this right to own any lands or anything like of the sort. So the tithes were for them to keep them alive, feed them, and keep them alive while they administer in the world. The tithes also are for you who pay the tithes. You understand? The tithes are also for the poor in and around our community. So, the most I set away a concept of life, how we have to live among ourselves. You understand what I'm saying? So, though we don't have the Levites among us right now, <clears throat> what do we have? We have the widow and the Scripture said the poor will always be with us. I cannot point out who is a Levite. I can't do that. I don't know who actually is a Levite. You understand? But what I do know is that those people who are running around in church praying and making mawet with themselves, I know for a fact they are not of our Elohim. Regardless of which church they come out, I know they are not of our Elohim. Because the reason why I say that, because the scripture tells me everything's like that. Every doctrine you see they preach, you have to prove it. In other words, tells you, you have to check that scripture and see if it is there. And if it is not there, it is not of our Elohim. So when I sought them out, I realized they are not of our Elohim. So they could never tell me they are Levites. So I have nothing or absolutely nothing to give them. And anybody who gives them are just fools. One day you'll find that out. Place value on yourself. You have the power within yourself to attain your salvation. Don't play yourself cheap and have to go to a priest a old thief and a homosexual or some fake pastor somewhere around. No, that's being cheap. Because most of the thing what they want is your money. Because they also place that money above themselves, that material things. Because if you don't give them, they wouldn't feel happy with you. So why would you go cheap me yourself to deal with them? And then you always have the poor among you. And then you always have the, the widows and the people who need around you. You understand? Be invaluable according to the Holy Scriptures. That is what you got to do. You understand? That is what you have to do each and every day of your life. You understand? Most of you try to use up your um, <clears throat> excuse, your wealth and stuff to get status in church and everything like that. That that is just an abomination, really. You know, you just chip in yourself every day. Stand up, 
That is why our Elohim give you a brain, he give you a heart, he give you a soul, so you could work things out in there. You understand? And then you have a book. You understand? To read, and you could research. Don't cheap me yourself and go and listen to some dunce. I call them dunce because most of them, what they do, once in a while, they come out on the road and they give somebody something and they hide again. They collect up two billion dollars from you, then they spend a two hundred and they give a two people thing and they put it on TV and they say yes, they feed some people along the road. That's what they do. You understand? That's supposed to be constant. That's supposed to be the work of the people of our Elohim. And if any one of you fall short in that, then you're lacking. It's as simple as that. You know, this life of serving our Elohim is not being greedy, greedy, greedy and grabbing, 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 grabbing. No, you be a channel. You understand? Because this life here that we live in, it's supposed to be only to serve our Elohim. Basically, that's it. Only our Elohim and nothing else. Because our Elohim gave us the instructions how we have to live. But we're going out of our way to do everything that is contradictory to our Elohim. And that is cheapening ourselves. Okay. So let us stop being expensive on the outside and very cheap on the inside, walking around like fake people. You know, empty heads. Yes, I don't say that too because you might have all this education, you might have all this wealth, walking around, driving, playing, flying, and you're pretty and thing and everything like that. And then you're just an empty head, an empty heart, or maybe no heart at all. You have no life because you're you're just you're just cheap. You understand? You're just cheap, 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 cheap. Place some value on yourself. Talk to your Elohim. And stop being cheap. I'll see you soon.